Welcome back guys, we're in our third tutorial in the Game Design Driven by Viewers series and uh, now I think we're ready for stage selection which is something this game wasn't going to have the way we were making it but uh, it doesn't really matter because this whole series is just based on what other people want to see and what they need to have shown so we'll go ahead and do that so we'll load our uh, project here and to do a stage selection of course there's always a lot of different ways to go about it but first off we're gonna make some more stages so we'll right click and add layout and we're not gonna add an event sheet and then be sure you go over here to event sheet 1 and tell this layout to use that event sheet <clears throat> which remember is where our programming is you can have multiple event sheets but we're just gonna have one I'm gonna call this stage one and I'm gonna do that again stage two actually I guess we could call the layout we were on stage three and then we'll do one more and it'll be stage four okay so it opened all those up here in these tabs you can drag them around so now we've got our stages and now we need to make a menu that has the stage selection on it. So here we'll say stage selection and we'll make it 640 by 480 so it fits on the screen. And we can put this as the default um, like you'll come here in the beginning uh, whenever you start the game so first layout is going to be stage selection I guess we could do a toddle or something first but for right now this is all we're going to do and I'll put this over here it doesn't really matter just to keep organized to keep everything where we know it is I'll move them around and then I guess we can go ahead and start with a sprite and I'm going to make it 64 by 64 and I'm going to make it, this is going to be our like selector, it's going to just be a red and then in the middle I'm going to make it transparent. Okay, so this is our selector, and I'm going to go ahead and do the snap to grid again, and I'm going to clone object top, and then this is going to be black, <coughs> and then we can use the pencil to say this is number one and you know you put pictures here or whatever if you wanted or this could just be words and the selector could be a hand or something but we're gonna have pictures and the selector will go over it so I'm gonna send this to the top of the layer and it'll be like that and it'll go to each one so we're gonna call this stage select one or something on object top, stage select 2, and I can go ahead and do that with a couple more. We'll have four stages to choose from, which you can go back and add more later, or not have this many. And here's two. Now, if you didn't clone them and you just copied these, they'll each change every time. Um, because they're not separate objects 
Uh, I mean, they're not individual sprites. Okay, and then I'm just selecting this and pressing delete. And just drawing a simple, simple number each time. And then we'll move these kind of more in the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect. We don't care. I'm just showing you how to how to program this mostly and get it set up. Stage selection. We got our selector. We've got our selections. And this is in the right place. We have the event sheet. So. Uh, now we're ready to give this an instance variable and we'll call it selection and it'll initially be 1 from the beginning instead of 0 which means we'll be on number 1 but we've got to tell the game how to let us do that so we'll go back to our event sheet and we'll say uh, well, I, we can go ahead and add a couple things here. Double click and add the mouse function and the keyboard function. So now we can say add event and keyboard and on key pressed. And we'll say left, left arrow. On left arrow pressed, selector. subtract from the instance variable selection 1. It's going to subtract 1 from that value. And then we'll control drag this down and this time say right arrow and we'll say add 1 to selection. So on left arrow pressed it subtracts 1 on right arrow pressed it adds 1 to the selection variable. And Now we can say if selector compare the instance variable of selection if it's equal to 1 we can select set set the selector to have its position at stage select 1 on the center point so if selector selection is 1 set its position over this stage select 1 icon and then you know we're just going to copy it and say if it's two set the position to stage select two and then just repeat it and that will be three and then this will be four and oh, that should be good Okay, so if it's whatever selection number it's on, that's what it'll take the uh, selector to. So we can go ahead and test that. I'm going to save this as tutorial game 0 0.2, and we're going to test it. Okay, so when we press uh, left and right, it does not work. What did I do wrong? Add one to selection. Hmm. Oh, that's odd. Oh, I see. Uh, it was going below, so we just need to put it on top of the layer. Just a silly mistake. Um, you know, a lot of times it helps to have things on actual other layers. I was just kind of trying to speed through it uh, to show you the basic idea, but that was the problem. This was going behind these because we added them after this. So uh, now that we've got that worked out and it does work, you'll notice it can go uh, 
uh, too far if you keep pressing it and then you can't go back so there's this, you could either make it actually go to the end and then come back to number one or you could make it just go to the end and stop and make it so you could actually be able to press left and it would go back to three no matter how many times you've pressed right so we're gonna do I mean it, it's really the same either way you just have to say which number you want it to be so we'll do this way where if selector selection is greater than four then selector set the value of selection to one so once it goes past four <clears throat> it'll go back to one and then the same on the other side if it's less than one go to four so that should be all we need there one two three four five one two three four five yeah so now we can't get stuck anywhere and if you wanted to make it just go to the end and stop it'd be the same thing but you would say set selection to four so it would always stay at four even if it's above it and then this one would be set it to one if it's less than one and now all we need is to actually make it take us to these stages so we can say keyboard on key pressed and we can't just press it we have to use this and say return for enter so whenever we press enter and selection is one so if both these are in the same block it means both conditions have to be met in order to do the action so on enter pressed and selection is one system go to layout stage one we can copy that, change this to 2, go to stage 2, and then do it again for each of these. 3, go to stage 3, and then 4, go to stage 4. Okay, so now we can test this out works and then we'll go to stage three takes us to stage three and if we go to stage one it takes us to one which there's nothing on there one two three four and that's it we've got a stage selection and I'm gonna add text up here gonna make it this size down Change this to center and center. Well, that can stay, but this needs to be center. Horizontally and vertically aligns in the center. Put it up to 20. And the text can read um, stage selection. And there we go. So just let me know the next things anyone wants to see. I'll do them. Uh, hopefully I won't get stuck again just because something overlaps. There's always silly mistakes that can be made. Don't give up. Just mess around until you figure out what was wrong. Um, so we went over some more. We finally got into variables and we did some more event sheet stuff. And before I go, I guess I'll show you. You can add a group keep things um, organized in here. We'll call this stage selector and we can click and shift click put all of these in this folder that way we can keep everything uh, and I guess I can keep everything organized. This will be called enemies. Put him in there and there we go and then you can collapse and uh, retract I guess these so I think that's about it just let me know the next things you want to see any ideas you have